What's going on everybody? Apex Pro here and welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video and today I have a special video for you guys. As you can see we just finished the solo for a passing touchdown. Let's see what's going to happen once we get back to the main menu. So as you could see I completed an objective, gained 250 passing TDs. I haven't been posting that much Madden as of recently and that's because I've been on a really really long grind. The past three days I've done nothing but stay up late and grind the passing yards, rushing touchdowns, and all that for night train lane. So I think that was our last objective. It is, and we get 55k, complete ultimate master. And here we have it, the ultimate master pack. Long, long grind, and I'm happy I'm finally here. So let's get right to it. And we have toughness, 99 night train lane. Physical Front, Night Train. Read and React, Night Train. And Blanket Coverage, Night Train. Now, in my opinion, the Physical Front, Night Train is the best one to get. So, we're going to pick up the Physical Front one. Now, as you guys can see, we have Night Train Lane in the lineup. And we are now on 96 overall. And also, we got some new players as well. So... We beefed up our corners a lot. We got 97 blanket coverage version of Rondé Barber. And we got Easter Scramble, Darius Slay Jr. And you guys already seen that in our Ultimate Legend giveaway, we got Ed Reed, who is now a 99 overall. We also picked up Mutt Heroes 2, Gerald McCoy. The video where I did the hair set, the card I pulled, I sold it so I could pick up Darius Slay. I bought Darius Slay and then rebought back this 93 Dion Buchanan that I pulled from the solos. So I got him. He's, for the most part, going to be our user now. And then we also got Motivator's Honey Badger. So we could get Keekly up to the 91 zone threshold. So the defense is looking mean right now. We're going to look at everyone's stats now. First person up though is the heart and soul of this defense now. Night Train Lane. Never used a Night Train Lane card before. So I'm very happy I picked this up. And on our team, due to the Motivator's Honey Badger, he has 99 zone, 96 speed, 98 excel, 96 agility, 94 man. 95 press, 95 play rec, and 85 catching. At least we have one 99 stat on the card, right? Let's take a look at his hit power and block shed. Okay, now for some reason his block shed and hit power didn't go up. Do I have to back out first and then go back in? I think I might have to. Okay, so now I backed down, came back in. Everything's working now. So now he's got 94 tackle from physical front. And 90 block shed from physical front. Now we have it to tier 5. So we have it maxed out. Can't get any higher. He's got 90 block shed. With the hit power of 99. So he's got 99 hit power. 99 zone. And 90 block shedding. This card is going to be amazing in the run. And in the air with the speed and zone. Press man play right catching. This card is amazing. Can't wait to use it. And next up, we have Darius Slay. 95 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 96 man, 98 zone, 90 press, 96 play rec, and 85 catching. Again, this card looks so good. Honestly, he's really, really comparable to this Night Train lane. Like, he's really comparable. Like, in my opinion, this Darius Slay is one of the better corners in the game. You know, you can put him up with the Mel Blunts. Let's take a look at the backside. Now, he has 87 tackle. Not bad, not bad. 77 finesse move from the blanket coverage. 85 block shed. So he has a pretty good block shed. As you can see, Night Train's base was 86. And he's got the 91 hit power. And last but not least, Rondé Barber. 95 speed, 97 excel, 93 agility, 96 man, 99 zone, 97 press, 95 player, and 80 catching. Our corners right now are just looking so good. We have two corners with 99 zone. We have one corner with 98 zone. We have two corners with 95 speed. We have one corner with 96 speed. And all of our corners have over 80 catching. So we just have 75 block shed. Now that could be worse, but it's not terrible. Same thing with his hit power. Could be better, but it's not terrible. He's not going to be hitting anyone like Darius Slay and Night Train are. 
but again another very good corner that hopefully will be good on our defense other than our beastly corners our whole defensive line is beastly take a look at this due to the physical front being maxed out and blanket coverage Calais Campbell has 99 tackle 99 block shed and 97 finesse move that is crazy sadly we got rid of Bo Jackson the best QB spy player in the game but look at Gerald McCoy 96 tackle 99 block shed 87 finesse move and 93 player rack Demarcus Lawrence 98 tackle 99 block shed even take a look at our backup D tackle Malcolm Brown 91 tackle 95 block shed 90 power move 80 finesse 89 player rack and 90 pursuit like our D line I expect to play so well when our right end D tackle and left end all have 99 block shed and from 98 to 99 tackle Ted Hendricks 99 tackle 95 play rec 99 block shed and 98 hit power like what else is there more to say just look at the card Keekly now 99 tackle 97 block shed 92 zone and 98 hit power even the out of position LT's got some boom to him 97 tackle 94 block shed and 98 hit power and here we have Dion Buchanan which in my opinion is always the best backup linebacker you could have every year in Madden just take a look 93 speed 93 speed 89 player rec, 90 hit power and now because of now because of the honey badger he has 91 zone so he should be all over the field and playing great coverage Derek Brooks now has 98 play rec, 98 awareness and 96 zone so I expect this card again to be all over the field with that speed and playing great zone he has better zone than some corners now, it does suck that we won't be having Sean Taylor on the field right away, but I am subbing him in at the beginning of every game. We can take a look at his stats. Now, I think because of Night Train Lane with tip drill and secure tackler, that even though uh, uh, Sean Taylor doesn't start when I sub him in, that secure tackler and tip drill does activate for him. I'm pretty sure. So that, that will help out a lot. So it's like he's still starting. And he's also going to get the 96 tackle, 97 zone, and 99 hit power. Now I'm hoping at some point, like they did with this 97 one, that they upgrade him to a 99 because there's no one in the game that plays as good as Sean Taylor. I swear to you, he'll get 10 picks every single weekend league. Just no one else makes more plays than Sean Taylor. Now I'm happy now that the Honey Badger bumped him up to a 99 overall. Very, very happy. So now I have two 99 overalls. And because of physical front, he does have the 81 tackling, which is, eh, I do wish that tackling was better. But hey, it was a free card, and it is still a really good card with the 96 speed, 97 player rec, 99 zone, and 96 hit power. Very, very good card. Now, he shouldn't have, like, crazy block shed, I don't think. Yeah, he has 76 block shed, which could be better. It's not the greatest. But hey, it's a free card. This card is still most likely going to play very good. I mean, if I really, really had to, I could sub in this Rodney Harrison because he has 91 block shed. So I thought I'd just show you guys really quick of what he's working with. 94 play rec, 98 tackle, 95 zone, 96 pursuit, 98 hit power. And all this is due to the Patriots team training. So that's why he has all these boosts. And there is his block shed at 91. Yeah, guys, this is the defense. I am, I'm loving it. I just really hope they play as good as I believe they can. I mean, we have speed, hit power. Like, we got 99 block shed all over the field. We got 99 zone all over the field. The offense now still needs some work. Michael Thomas is a 97 overall now. Dan Deardorff is a 96 overall. I really hope that I can make it happen on offense. Because the defense looks like it might carry this team. And I'm hoping this team could be as monstrous as it looks. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click that like button down below. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to share it with your friends, family, whoever. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will see you in the next one.